Gwyneth Paltrow's ski accident trial. Her team is now questioning the man who said Paltrow crashed into him on the slopes. Kena Whitworth here with the story. Good morning, Kena. Hey, George. Good morning to you. So this was actually the first time that both Siri Sanderson and Gwyneth Paltrow were in the courtroom together for the entire day. Both have now taken the stand, laying out their cases in direct opposition to each other. Good morning, Gwyneth. Tensions running high this morning as Hollywood A-lister Gwyneth Paltrow's legal team takes charge in the civil case for her 2016 ski collision. Paltrow's attorney is trying to drive a hole into testimony from Terry Sanderson, who was 69 years old when he claims Paltrow ran into him on the slopes of Deer Valley Resort in Utah. The plane is called Mr. Terry Sanderson. For the first time on the stand, Sanderson telling his side of the story. I got hit in my back so hard. Serious, serious smack. Never been hit that hard, and I'm flying. I'm absolutely flying. His testimony directly contradicting Paltrow's. Mr. Sanderson categorically hit me on that ski slope, and that is the truth. The Oscar winner doubling down. I said, you skied directly into my effing back, and he said, oh, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. But Sanderson's swearing it wasn't his fault. Terry, did you cause the ski collision with Ms. Paltrow? Absolutely not. Eric Christensen, the ski instructor for Paltrow's son that day, taking the stand, testifying he saw Sanderson apologize to Paltrow after the collision. I actually watched him make several turns down. But Christensen admitting he missed the exact moment of the crash, an accident Sanderson says changed his life forever. I'm like living another life now. My interaction with my family has been more difficult. They've told me they've noticed some changes. His lawyers now asking for $300,000, claiming Paltrow's out of control skiing caused four broken ribs, pain and suffering, and permanent traumatic brain injury. Paltrow countersuing for a symbolic $1 and her attorney fees. Attorney's fees in a case like this that's been going on since 2016 can easily add up into hundreds of thousands of dollars for the attorneys because attorneys do charge by the hour. Also, the defense grilling Sanderson over an email that he sent to his daughters after the accident with the subject line, I'm famous. Sanderson saying he just wanted to let his family know and add some levity to this accident. And Robin, they do expect those closing arguments on Thursday. All right there. Kena, thanks so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.